Hey everyone, Zachary Acid here, and today I'm going to show you how to create seamless patterns. So let's get started. So here I just have um, a square, and let's see how big it is. It's 600 pixels by 600 pixels, and I just want to make like a scribbly pattern. So I have my pen, pencil tool actually, and I'm just going to make some scribbles. And let's say I want this to be a pattern. All right, well, the way you make a pattern is to go select all, here at the top, select all, or control A, and then go to edit, define pattern. And you can label it whatever you want. So, scribbly do. Okay, and then, so let's say I have the pattern, and I wanna fill this image, which is, uh, a3 size, so it's pretty big, with this pattern. So now I go edit with this uh, window selected, edit, fill, pattern, and I pick the pattern I just made. Okay, so here's what happens, and you see, you can see the seams. You can see where, you know, it looks like there's squares, and we don't want that. We want it to be smooth. So how do we get that? Well, let me just duplicate this layer in case I mess up. What I'm going to do is just recheck the image size. So 600 by 600. Now that's easy because um, it's a square and I did that on purpose. Um, you can use any shape uh, you want, uh, any rectangular shape, but the important thing is to memorize the width and the height. And then in your head divide it by two. So it was 600 by 600 and I want to divide that by two, so it's 300 by 300. So now with this selected, I go to Filter, Other, it's way at the bottom, Filter, Other, Offset. And this is why it was important to uh, get those numbers right, 300 by 300. Okay, so let me just hide that, the previous one I just created when I duplicated the layer. So now I have this, and you can see, um, you can see the seam, but we can get rid of that just by erasing it, erasing down the middle. And basically all this did is it offset it. So what used to be, like what used to be in this upper left uh, corner got moved down here. So it just like shifted everything around. So now um, this is the upper left, this is the bottom right, this is the... Uh, there's a top right? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. This is the top right. This is the bottom right. All right. So, or left? Whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, so now we're going to get the eraser and just erase down the middle. And I don't want to touch the sides too much because the sides are fine. And now, just taking my pencil again, just going to fill that in. So, just going to make it so these lines kind of match. And pretty much, that's it. And now I'm going to do the same thing as before, which is uh, select all, edit, define pattern. Um, and edit fill uh, with the pattern we just created and see now you can't really see the seam anymore so you can still see the pattern but you don't get those squares showing up quite as uh, obvious so that's one thing now what if I have a pattern like this so it's like this stony texture which I just found on uh, Google Images, and I want to make a pattern out of that. Well, if I just select the original, again, Control A, Edit, Define Pattern, OK, Edit, Fill, Pattern. It's a bit harder to see, but when you zoom in, you can see those edges. 
See here? You can see the lines that separate it. But it's not so bad from far. But let's fix it. So again, what I'm going to do is check the image size. And this is 1210 by 908. So half of that will be 605 by 459. Ah, let me just change it to 1200. Ah, 1200 by 900. It's that simple. So it's going to be, <laughs> you know why I'm in art and not math. It's going to be 600 by 450, right? Half of 1200. All right, so let's do that. And now filter other. Let me make sure it's uh, selected this. So control A. Filter other offset. So instead of 300, it was 600 by 450. And now we have this. So you still can see that seam. So now we just have to do the same thing and get rid of the seam. And the way we do that is with this clone stamp tool. So it's, uh, I think you can hit the S key and it will give you the clone stamp tool. Now what you do is you select an area. And again, we're just going to focus on this middle area that doesn't match. You select an area and you hold down alt and then you just click that area and then you go over the part you want. So I'm going to click this area and then just go over this and I'm just making it so I erase certain parts or add parts until it looks like the seam is gone. So like, you know, take that part of the rock and uh, just add things until that seam disappears. And through the magic of television or computer vision, whatever, the internet, got one done already. So there's that. Select all, edit, define pattern, call it whatever you want. OK, edit, fill. And there we have a pretty seamless pattern. So although you still get some areas where, you know, see here it's darker, it's, it's pretty seamless. And you can also get rid of that. So you see, for instance, here, it gets a bit darker and that's going to show up repeatedly. So I could just increase my clone stamp tool and select an area that's more similar to all this. So let's say this area and then, you know, just go over this part. So that area that's more different disappears. And yeah, so you can just get rid of all the, the areas that kind of stand out. Again, you just hit Alt, click uh, spot. And that's just going to sample from whatever spot you clicked and then, you know, just fix up the parts. So now that I got rid of that darker area, let's just try again. Edit, define pattern, OK, edit, fill, and see, there we go. So now it's much more seamless. All right, so that's pretty much it. So again, remember, it's all about find out how big your image is, divide the width and the height by two, filter, other, offset, figure that out, and then edit, define pattern, and then edit fill and edit fill um, it says use here usually it's on like foreground color so you just scroll down to pattern and then where it says custom pattern you pick your pattern and that's it so hope that helps thanks for watching